Excuse me. Excuse me. Two seconds. I noticed that you have blue eyes. Yes. I also have blue eyes. I feel like we're like we're like rare Pokemon. So I had to come and meet you. My, my name is. You actually, you actually took me as uh, Eastern European. Where are you from? Oh, no, I'm from the US. Oh, really? Is that why you're so nice? Very, uh, like, easygoing. <laughs> Am I really that nice? <laughs> oh, oh, so there's a, there's a naughty side, too. Interesting. Oh. What uh, What brings you to New York? Oh, so have you been... Uh, completely washed with the culture of New York? Yeah. Huh. And you, where are you from? Uh, take a guess. I'll give you a hint. It's a country where bears ride on unicycles. Bears ride on unicycles? Oh, okay. You know what I was <laughs> You're like, yes, I understand now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, some people, you know, they get very surprised by my name and they're like, that's a girl's name, right? So for a very long time, I was like really insecure about that. And then I just started telling people, I think my parents are hippies and then it was whatever. Huh. Huh. Okay, cool. Um, what is good about the set and what is bad about it? Uh, definitely the hesitation. I'm clearly like searching for the fucking like, you know what I mean? Kind of mm -hmm. grabbing for air to to say something like because I'm not actually connecting with her. I'm more doing it for, because I'm thinking about him being behind me. Mm -hmm. Now in sets when I, I'm super present and I'm just on the girl, it just like, you know, there's just a different energy to it even. But I think she actually felt this weird distance from me, and for some reason, I kept feeling that that's what kind of was drawing her towards me. It could be... Felt distance it, from me? What does that mean? I don't even know, like, uh, like detached. You know how some girls are like into detached guys, they're like, who is he? Why is he like this kind of thing? Okay, fair enough. Um, okay, so the hesitation for sure, you are reaching a little bit, mm -hmm. um, but my bigger concerns are to do with frame, okay? So at the start, you actually flirted with her, yeah. right? You have blue eyes, da da da. Like it's it's a, a physical thing, but it's not super complimentary. And there was there was joking, right? And then after that moment, it got into this very like logical, platonic type of conversation, right? And so in a sense, from from where you were at ten seconds in to where you're at now, you've actually gone backwards in the set. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So she's walking to somewhere. At some point, she's going to get there, and there's going to be that awkward moment of parting. Right? Yeah. If you haven't developed some kind of connection by that moment, or if you haven't stopped her and developed a connection, game over. Yeah. Right? So moving backwards isn't really going to work for you. Now, if you're si seated with her and you did this for a little bit, you could get away with it. But in this case, there's some kind of time situation, mm -hmm. and you're, just, you're essentially just whiling away your time. It's not, it's not going in a, yeah. a, a positive direction because there's no intent. Um, and there's no, no progression. Also, the frame you're taking about your name, I, I hate this story, by the way. Like, it's a story that's, that's communicating insecurity and such, <laughs> right? So yeah, like, oh yeah, at first I was embarrassed about my name, but then I came up with a way to lie and make it okay. Like, <laughs> it, it, it can conveys, like, first of all, it conveys dishonesty, it conveys insecurity, it conveys manipulative nature. I mean, it's like so many things you don't want to be conveying to the girl, all in one story, <laughs> right? So I, I don't like that. That was better just not to bring it up. Yeah, typically, like if, if the, ideally you just don't want to be insecure about shit, right, at all, right? You don't want to, you, you don't want to be, have to feel the need to, you know what I say, qualifying yourself. You don't yeah. want to have to justify yourself in any right. way. So if you're going out of your way and justifying yourself, it's, it's a negative thing. Now, this is kind of referring to a past thing. So like I used to be insecure, da 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 uh, That works, bring... that works if the frame is that she believes you're the shit. Okay. Which she doesn't believe yet. Yeah, clearly. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if she's like in awe of you and feeling like intimidated and she's getting shy because of how cool you are, yeah. then in that case, yeah, mm -hmm. it makes some sense. Um, but in, in, that's not the case here. Right, so watch your frames. So how was, so how was your day? Um, actually, it was, uh, it was a challenge. Oh, really? Good challenge or challenge challenge? Both. Ah, yeah. <laughs> but those are the best. You learn a lot from those kinds of days. 
about yourself? What did you learn about yourself today? That's a really hard question to answer, right? And so you have to ask yourself whenever, and this is, this is for you as well, whenever you're asking for something from the girl, you're familiar with the, you're familiar with the idea of social capital? Uh, I've okay. heard it, I don't remember. So here's the idea. When you meet a stranger, you have no history with them, there's no social capital, there's no, um, you haven't deposited anything in their emotional bank account with you, mm -hmm. right? When you get to know someone, like a friend or a family member, there's a lot of social capital. So if you ask them for something, they're likely to do it for you. Yeah. you ask, if you ask something of a stranger, they'd be like, nah, fuck off. It's like when a homeless person comes up and, ask, and wants something from you. I don't know how you feel about that, but most people are like, eh, they hate it, right? Mm -hmm. It's like mm, obnoxious, mm -hmm. right? Because you have no, no social capital with them, right? It's just like, they're just asking for something, they're not giving anything in return, et cetera. Um, so here, for every time you ask your girl a question, if for her to answer it, that's asking for effort, right? And so you're expending social capital because you're asking for something from her. When you say, what did you learn about yourself today? That's a very hard question to answer. Even if she wants to answer it, she has to think about it. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to ask that question, she better want to answer it, which means you better have enough value that she feels compelled to try and impress you, yes. which the set so far hasn't indicated that. Yeah. It's indicated she's friendly towards you, maybe amused by you, but she, she hasn't indicated a desire to impress. Right? So this question, I mean, I don't know how it's going to go, what she's going to respond, but it's like, uh, I don't want to get into that deep of a conversation. I don't want to like force myself. Also, also you're forcing her into your, you're asking her to force herself into your frame. She's like, oh, that's good because this. So tell me mm -hmm. how you can prove my point to me. Right? It's 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 asking a lot. Now, if she does go along with it and try, that's good. But my intuition is you're trying for too much where you don't have it, and so she's not likely to give a positive. Like we'll see. I'll hit play and we'll see. But like my guess is you're not going to get a real positive reaction off of that. Oh, well, here I am. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think my favorite place in New York is always the one where you uh, are able to meet new people. I, I think I'm a, I'm a social kind of guy, I guess you should say. Although that was, wasn't always the case. Well, so I feel like the, the vibe I'm getting off of this mm -hmm. is that she's just a nice person. Does that make sense? Yeah. Right. So she's just like, and what happens? Not yeah. as though she actually like cares, but she's like going through the motions of asking the polite sure. question she's supposed to socially. Yeah. Does that make sense? She's like, well, I'm walking. This guy's talking to me. I'll be polite to him. But you're not like really like, there's not a lot of investment or commitment from her and not a lot of reaction from her. Does that make sense? I noticed that I was very stifled, and so being just talking to more people allowed me to become, think less, basically. Yeah. Uh, eight years, huh? And again, that's the way you conveyed that wasn't the best for frame, right? Because again, you're conveying like insecure low value frame or whatever. Yeah. Like for example, if I was to convey the, the social thing, and there's different ways I could do it. One is I wasn't assertive enough and I was a little shy, right? Mm -hmm. What I would say is, yeah, when I was growing up, I was a bit of an elitist because I was actually really good at a lot of things. And so, like, I didn't want to associate with, with certain people. And then I realized, like, people are really fun and people are really good and you should expand your horizons, right? But see, my reason for being shy was the high value reason for being shy, right? And both are true. I was an elitist in a way. I also was shy and unassertive, right? And it was probably more that I was shy and unassertive. But when I frame it that way, it's like from the positive frame rather than the negative frame. I've been here for okay. next month. No, in, a, oh. in New York. I, I've been in. Okay. How old are you? Uh, how old do I look? Oh, okay. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how old are you? Twenty-two. Okay. It's okay. You can't defend me. Actually, you can. <laughs> Uh, close. Alright, so one thing I noticed about uh, myself close. I'm fine. from looking at this, mm -hmm. terrible body language. Just from the side. What do you I mean? Because you keep turning towards or what? What's yeah, bad about it? Like, is that. It's not so bad. I mean, it looks like you're trying to get her to stop certain times, which you're not like fully committing to, but it's not that bad. Your body language is far from the biggest of your problems. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of things like positionally, like you could be a, a, ahead of her a little bit and leading more. Um, you could be like, if you could get her to invest and, and commit a little bit, you could try and slow down your stride a little bit and see if you could get her to slow down with you. Like things like that you could do. But body language is the biggest thing. My, the first problem, I think, is, is the frame, which the frame is it's all about her. There's nothing super high value about you, and there's nothing that like forces her to react or really qualify. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's all just very platonic. It's also very factual. It's very like, let's exchange a fact. Let's exchange a fact. Yeah. Let's exchange a fact. How about you? Well, you have like a very sophisticated vibe. I feel like that comes with a lot of experience. And you have a very healthy clip to your walk, which tells me you're, uh, you're someone who knows what she wants. By the way, don't call that out. Huh? The healthy clip to the walk, don't call that out. Don't ever call out anything that can be perceived of as her rejecting you or not responding well to you. So saying you're walking at a healthy clip, until, until you noticed it and said you're walking fast, she wasn't walking fast. In the, I mean, she was, but like it wasn't in her mind she's walking yeah. fast. But when you point out she's walking fast, A, why is she walking fast? Oh, she must not be enjoying the conversation. Mm -hmm. B, why did you notice she's walking fast? Because you care and want her to slow down and you're not getting your way. So again, low value frame. All right, so there's all these like little subtle implied low value frames. Does that make sense? It's like, um, I should watch, uh, I did a video called Leveling. Uh, it's not called Leveling, it's called Why You Can't Get Nines and Tens or Why You Don't Get the Nines and Tens or whatever. But it's about a concept called Leveling. Check out that video on YouTube. Uh, why I can't get 9s and 10s. Why, why you can't you know get 9s and 10s? Uh -huh. This is based, this is like why I'm here. Because uh -huh. it's the 8s, it's 9s, the and 10s I have a lot of trouble with. 7s, uh 6s, -huh. C of them, you know? It's a high quote. Anyway, go on. You're leveling yourself. All right, there are certain behaviors that like, girls rate guys mm -hmm. the same way guys rate girls, except they're not rating on physical appearance, they're rating on behaviors. Yeah. Right? So there are certain behaviors that say I'm a 6 or I'm a 7 or I'm an 8 or whatever, right? And you're leveling yourself right around that like, maybe seven, eight range, right? Um, and so it'll work really well on like sixes will love you, sevens will occasionally really love you, eights will be like, eh, maybe, and then nines and tens will just be like, they'll be pleasant to you, they'll be polite to you, but you just won't crack their shield. And yeah. Right? It's because you're, you're leveling Back yourself. Your it's, it's, these, it's these subtle frames. It's exactly. Kind of like, out and you're kind of like out together. That also comes with, with some experience and I'm gonna say you're in your 30s. Every time. How far up the 30s? I don't want to go there. Ah, oh, okay. I feel like it's right when you're the most secure in yourself and who you are. Well, at the very least, that's what I'm kind of striving to be. I think that's my goal. Are you, do you feel like you're there? Ah, uh, hills and valleys. Okay. Well, I'm kind of curious, like, what do you do? No way! Why? I, uh, I used to be a... Do you know the new building, the Belfort building? Oh, yeah. yeah. So funny. These... What do you do? Well, uh, long story, but I used to be... I am no longer that. I am now a quote unquote. <laughs> you give me too much credit. No, I'm straight up talking like pipes and shit. Oh, okay. Uh, no, what, what happened was, you know, I kind of woke up one day asking myself, am I truly happy doing what I'm doing? And. The answer was actually yes, but the money was so terrible that I was like, you know what, I have to. I, and again, leveling, right? Yeah. Right, instead of the money was so terrible, I had to da da da, right? But like you say, like, I, I was truly loving what I was doing, but at a certain point, you want to have like the finer things in life. And I said, you know what, it's time to make some real money. Yeah. Right, so you see the difference in framing though? Yeah. Right, yeah. instead of saying I was a poor fuck and now I like make okay money, you say like, you know, I was, I was doing okay, but like, and I was loving it, but at a certain point, like you could even be like at a certain point as a man, I think it's your responsibility to be the type of man that could provide the, the life for the people that, that you love, whether it be parents or, you know, a girl or whatever. Yeah. Like there, there's a certain responsibility you have as a man to like be a, you know, hey, I'm an affluent citizen of the world with resources. And I was like, okay, I'm, I'm no longer in my, teens and 20s, it's time to step up. And so 
I do this, but I still do that for fun, right? What what is that like? What what I just said? How does that convey you? Like think of, think about the story you're telling. That's the big thing. Your gamey stuff. You could show more intent. You could be more. You could be less logical, and that's very important. But so much of what you're saying is coming from this negative frame. And actually, like the fact that you're talkative and leading and all that gets it makes up for a lot of the things that aren't perfect game. But again, the things you're the stories you're telling. The stories you're telling, like think to yourself, what is the story I'm telling of me? Yeah. All right, I'll play it. I'll let you think about that, but I'll play I it. I took a kind of like a blue collar job. Mm -hmm. But it, way less stressful. Way less boring. Yeah. 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 Again, what's the story you're telling, right? If you, if you flip your story, psh, you're gonna crush it. Because you're, you're conveying great quality. You're conveying friendly, nice, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But why is she like talking pleasantly with you instead of being impressed and blown away by you? It's because the story you're telling her isn't a blow you away story. And I'm able to like just connect more, you know? I'm all about like positivity and connecting and shit. Yeah. So what's, uh, what's the... What's the goal today? Where are you, where are you heading? I'm going to Washington Park to do acro yoga. What is it? Acro yoga. It's acrobatics, acrobatics and yoga. They had a baby and made acro yoga. Yes, exactly. I understand. Yeah, I'm hoping my friends are there. I really have no idea. I kind of like came out on a limb. Hopefully people will be there. They usually are during the week. Oh. So I'm just. So you're very like health conscious and. My own path and hoping people are there playing. Uh huh. Playing? It's the thing you yeah, play? Yeah, Interesting. Well, I have an alternative idea. Why don't we? Why don't I steal you? And uh, you don't want to be a bad friend. No. Yeah. See. A little after eight. Well, we have time. So why don't we? Uh, Okay. Oh yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm actually super flexible. Uh, I'm I'm one of those guys that like when I go to the gym I can never gain mass but I like gain a lot of strength, so I'm like this I'm like Bruce Lee. I'm like Bruce Lee's master. He learned everything from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, I actually love to skateboard. Do you know that sport? It was one of those things, because like I said, I used to be socially awkward back in the day. Yeah. So that's like the loner sport that you don't need others to, to, to be there with you to do it. Are you sure? Have you, so have you ever been? Everyone always says that they're like, I, know. I've, I never got off the, the got out of the airport, but yeah, I was there. Yeah. Uh, do you have Facebook? I do, but you know what? I, I don't feel like we're at that stage in our relationship where we can take oh, it to the Facebook friends. level. Oh, okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's some stuff on there. I don't know. Okay. But, do you um. Your phone number in there? Sure. Or do you have a girlfriend or something? Me? No, I don't have a girlfriend. I love, I love your, uh, what do you call it? Your psychology here. Look, I, I, I don't care. Likes your photo. Er, just, just, just a heads up. Done and done. You're calling my home right now. It's so weird. So, what is your favorite place in New York? Really? 
I think the obvious answer is right here with me, but that's kind of corny. Kind of corny. Yeah. Well, hey, I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, let's see if they're playing. You can try it out. Maybe we'll show you some moves. So I have a confession to make. Yes. I'm actually kind of late for somewhere. Okay. But okay. you're uh, you're very intriguing enough to uh, allow for that. Hmm. Did they say where uh, where you're gonna meet? Mm-hmm. Some yoga thing? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it in the park or is it like... It's in the park. It's gotcha. Like, it's, it'll be in like two seconds. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Makes total sense. Yeah, she's like, you she's like super nice. You're positive. So look, she, I would say she, you already did the number thing, right? Uh, that was the you're calling my home thing that you already got the number? Yeah. Okay. So. This is, it's good that you got the number. Keep following it. Hopefully you get the day two and whatnot. Um, so that's good. I'm not like massive surprised, but a little bit surprised. Yeah. Um, but this whole set, even though you got the number and whatnot, there's no point where she was chasing you instead of you chasing her, right? And that's essentially like what intermediate game looks like, is like you're chasing, 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 and she either like gives in and says yes or she doesn't. Oh, okay. yeah. But there's no point where she's like overtly chasing you. Do you live in Oh, did they start already? Is that them? Yeah, it's somebody I'm kind of there. Oh, really? <laughs> That's OK. Well, it was awesome you can meeting try you. It. Me? You can try. Actually, I think this is where I'll leave you. All right. It was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you. I'll see you later. OK. Look, you're a cool guy. You're a, cool, you're a good experience. Based, based, based on one set, obviously. I'll look at some others. But like, based on one set, you're a good experience. You're pleasant and sort of funny and like char like positive vibe, a little bit charming, whatever. But she doesn't feel that you're higher value than her. She yeah. doesn't feel this like compulsion to be with you. So she's like, oh well, you know, I'm busy, but he was pleasant. So if I'm bored, you know, he'd be he'd be more fun than than being bored. Or even at the time, she's like, oh, that was a fun time. I wouldn't mind having it again. But it's I wouldn't mind having it again. No, I have to have it again. Excuse me, sorry. I felt like we had a moment there just for a second. And I wanted to capture it. My name is Who are you? Nice to meet you. I feel like you're very studious today. But we do have like down to business right away. I just came from Oh did you? Yeah. Uh I'm, let me guess what your job is. Okay. Something nerdy. Uh, I don't know. I, it says on my badge I work. So, extra nerdy. Oh, probably. <laughs> I thought your building was in Times Square. No, my building is in They have several buildings? No, they just have that one in New York. Ah, I see. Uh, so how do you like it? I love it. It's what I love, so, yeah. uh, I, well, if you had to guess, based on my personality, what would you? Well, what kind of box would you stuff me in? I'm always curious to hear that from people. Really? I am completely the opposite of that. Really, your business? Even more completely opposite of that. Closer? Closer. So I was... Uh, about a year... Uh, no, a couple of months ago, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. What did you research? We researched people... That's a okay. was something called uh, that. Cause that was big news. I'm surprised yeah. you don't know that. Psh, no, this is at a. Yes, I'm a one of these high end kind of crowds. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, so you're still. Oh, okay. I'm actually about to go. Oh well, hold on a second. Why don't we continue this and uh, go and grab a cup of coffee?
Uh, I need to go to the meeting. I'm so sorry. I am meeting up with a friend here. Yeah. Okay, well, why don't we do this? Why don't I grab your number? And then when you have a little more time and I have a little more time, we can uh, go get that coffee. Okay, yeah, sure. What are you studying? Okay. Thoughts on the set? Uh, well, I made myself laugh, so good uh, self amusement there. Sure. <laughs> good hindsight. Um, she was just very. Uh, how do I say? It? I think I came at her too much, too fast, too soon. She was the type of girl that's kind of like. I imagine her last boyfriend was from, was from social service, basically. You know what I mean? She, she needs like mm -hmm. that long period to get to know you. So, like you said, seems like a fun dude, harmless, whatever, not sexually, like not sexual enough. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, exactly. So what you did was no intent, no intent, no intent, no intent. Oh, she's going in the building, better close. Yeah. All right, so it's this big like jump. I was like, oh, no penis, no penis, no penis. I mean, she knows you have a penis kind of because you approached her, yeah. but it's just this like polite, conversational, conversational, conversational. Oh shit, it's sexual, mm -hmm. right? Um, instead, it should be like a ramp, like gradually ramping up to sexual instead of this big like jump. So think of it like, think of a game as a ramp, not a stair step, mm -hmm. right? So whenever you're escalating, instead of being like nothing, 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 hey, we should get together and get coffee, it should be, a little, little intent, back to a little more intent, back, a little more intent, back, and then, hey, are you, are you adventurous? Okay, cool. Hey, do you like coffee or smoothies? Okay, cool, we should do that together. Does that make sense? So it's this gradual progression to it, instead of nothing, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because that's, that's what your set, this set looked like nothing, 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 boom. The other set looked like <laughs> nothing, 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 and then she, you know, closed you in yeah, yeah. something about, like, possibly a friendly, possibly sexual way, whatever. But you didn't do much to make it happen. Yeah. Right, so that's, that's what's missing. So two things. From the first set, the framing thing, obviously. Very, very key. And then the other thing is your progression. You tend to like not have a continual slow escalation. It's this like, oh shit, no escalation, no escalation. Oh wait, I'm running out of time, better escalate. Yeah. All right. Which, by the way, are both insanely, insanely common intermediate sticking points. So congratulations. <laughs> you're, you're solidly intermediate. Um,